when I was around 10 years old, I told my parents that as part of the diaspora, I want to contribute to Africa's development. Mm. Yes. And I wanted to work on something concrete, impactful, um, and above all, serving human beings. So as my home village uh, and even home country, Cameroon, lacked sustainable access to, to water, to safe drinking water service, and then my postgraduate studies and career path uh, have been built towards this clear life purpose I had, and I still have. But I needed to... to, to to, uh, to execute, to have, um, to pursue an executive MBA. And I did a lot of soul searching to find um, a world-class a world, world school, yes, that is aligned with my core values, my personal values. Okay. Such as diversity, altruism, leadership. Okay. And and just so going back to the, the third part of that question on how um how did you finance it? Because obviously it's a it's a big financial undertaking taking on the EMBA. To to finance my studies, I found uh, many sources of funding. I can name them, it will be easier to understand. A scholarship from INSEAD, funding from my employer, Suez. Uh, a low uh, a low rate uh, loan, a bank loan, negotiated between INSEAD and BNP, which is a French bank, uh, and even my French governmental training credits. And I'm very grateful to INSEAD, to my employer Suez, uh, because this helped me to 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 make it affordable. And um, I do encourage everyone to look at what is available to them to make the program affordable. It's well worth it. 